Hey guys, welcome back for a DIY front porch makeover. It has actually been a couple of years since we've touched this space. Last year we didn't do anything because we were traveling so much, so there is tons to do. We wanted to work on some DIY landscaping in our front flower beds, and then also set up our front porch furniture and share some decorating ideas that will make this space really pretty, but also keep it functional for us and suit the needs of our family. Of course, I'm going to be potting some herbs herbs and hanging up some flowers and we're going to try to do everything on a budget because we didn't want to break the bank for this project. So I'm going to share that entire process starting with some before shots. We had spent a few days digging out our flower beds because we knew we were going to revamp our landscaping and try something new this year but before we get started on that I noticed tons of staining on our front steps so I'm going to grab the power washer and take care of all of this. Is there anything more satisfying than power washing? I love power washing. Even though I'm clearly not a professional, I don't have a professional skill set here, my angles are all wrong, and sometimes I feel like I end up making a bigger mess than I'm cleaning up, but I still have so much fun doing it, and I think it's because there's something so unique about this task with this level of instant gratification that you like can see this dirt being blasted away and you can visualize the end product in real time and so that motivates you to work through the entire project but also makes you want to just power wash everything within sight. I don't know, maybe I'm just a weirdo and that's just me. And I think the type of power washer that you have makes a huge difference as well. A few years back we tried that $99 one off of Amazon and it was horrible. It broke after two uses and it was such a waste of $100 dollars but for just a couple hundred dollars more we got this one a couple of years ago and we have loved it it was a very worthwhile investment for us we use it all of the time and it does such a good job so if you're looking for a really good power washer I'll leave the link to ours down in the description box but while all of the water was soaking into our flower beds I wanted to go ahead and spray some weed killer as well so my logic behind it and I'm not sure if this this is entirely right. I'm sure it's not, but this is just what I decided to do. So my logic was if this water is seeping into the ground, I should put some weed killer in here so it can seep down with it and really get down there because our flower beds have so much rock in the soil that it makes it really difficult to like till them or dig them up. And so I feel like no kind of topical treatment ever penetrates the ground as much as we would want it to. So that was just my logic logic and reasoning behind it. I don't know if that's the right way. I'm sure one of you will tell me if I did it wrong or if I did it right, but that's just what I decided to do. And we did like the weed killer that we got. We made sure to get one with this little hose that had a plastic tent around the end to make sure we were protecting our existing plants while still spraying to not have all these weeds popping up all summer long. So far, so good. We finished this project this week and we haven't seen a single weed pop up, so I'm not sure if it's this or the weed barrier that I'm about to put down but either way we were just doing our due diligence and trying to get this landscaping done the best way that we could come up with.
Along with the weed killer, I also wanted to lay down this weed barrier. When we were digging up the flower beds, we had torn out a lot of the old whatever they had used, and so we wanted to replace it. We were really trying to make sure that we were doing this the right way instead of it being an obvious DIY or a rushed DIY. We wanted to take our times and make sure that this was going to be a lasting investment. I feel like landscaping can often feel like a money pit but the materials that we decided to use this year made it feel like it was worthwhile for us. A big part of that was these mulch nuggets that we decided to switch to. So a few years ago, we had dug out a bunch of red rock in our front flower beds. We just, we didn't like the aesthetic of it, but we also didn't like how sharp it was. Our kids run through these flower beds all the time and as they get older and play outside more and ride bikes and things like that, they were just always tripping over them, hurting themselves, cutting themselves, and we decided to switch it out with black mulch. At first, I loved the look of the mulch, but I felt like it didn't hold its color. It had to be re-mulched every single year, which with this amount of landscaping area is hundreds of dollars every single year for it to just last one season and also it attracted a lot of bugs because it's wood and there is a risk of it attracting termites so this year we just decided to go for it switch to something else and we settled on these black mulch nuggets and i love them derek is starting to fill in this front flower bed but i have this one all covered so far and i just can't wait so this is not very labor intensive work I could easily do this myself it's actually these nuggets are a lot less heavy than like bags of mulch and things so he's gonna breeze through this but while he's doing that I'm going to start setting up this area that we like use as our front porch area because I just can't wait so I'm gonna set up the seating area do a little bit of planting set up our front step and our front door and start bringing it all together so that by the time that he's done with all of this landscaping I'll have this done too and we can just enjoy the entire space last year in the middle to the end of summer I found this little outdoor seating set on clearance at Aldi it was under $200 I think it was under $150 and I love it we got it at that time of year after the summer had passed and we actually used it for a fall front porch decorating video I did share that on my channel every fall every Halloween and every Christmas we love to set up really big seasonal displays in this area and I always share that it's some of my favorite content to film and it's one of Derek and I's favorite things to do together but we were so impressed with this seating set it's very comfortable very pretty I would repurchase it at full price if I needed to so definitely check your local Aldi if you're looking for some outdoor front porch seating this set is great and I would buy it even at full price I don't think Aldi has an online store though so you're gonna have to check in store to see if it was brought back I also did pick up some planters this year at home goods we had some plastic ones from years before that were just getting really banged up and beat up and I wanted to get some really pretty high quality ceramic and terracotta planters but I didn't want to spend the Lowe's and Home Depot's prices because I feel like they can be really unreasonable so I checked our local home goods they had a ton of phenomenal deals the largest planter I bought was only $35 and both of these were under 20 bucks so if you're looking for some really high quality planters but not wanting to pay an arm and a leg check out your local home goods if I can find the links to these ones on the home goods website I'll leave them down in the description box they just they really do it right as far as outdoor decor furniture and just anything you need for outdoors I would always check home goods first because you're guaranteed to save so much money shopping at those types of stores rather than the big box retailers at least in my local area and in my opinion
Okay, so these are all of the plants that I decided to put next to the seating area in this front flower bed. I love them. I chose all of the herbs. My kids chose the flowers and the little bunny, and I think it looks so cute. But now we're going to move on to our front step area, and I really wanted to revamp this space. Our old layering rug started growing mold after a couple of years. No shocker there. It was time to replace it, so I found this one at Home Goods for $16. It's very neutral, very pretty, and oversized. This was the largest layering outdoor rug I could find for the cheapest price. Everything else I was seeing at like Kirkland's and Target was like $25 and way smaller than this. So I felt like this was a really, really good find. They did have a couple of different colors and patterns, so check your local home goods if you're looking for something like this. I also found this new front doormat at Target, and this was a little bit of a splurge it was $30 but it's a different kind of material than usual front door mat so it's made to last a lot longer it's like made out of the same material as outdoor furniture and I thought that made it worth it I'll use it for every single season except probably Christmas is the only time I'll put it away so if I can get a couple years use out of it every single month instead of having to change it monthly that makes it worth it I also found these lanterns at home goods this year they are outdoor lanterns and their material is also the same as like outdoor kind of faux wicker rattan it's like that plasticky kind of wicker so I thought that they would hold up really well I love the look it's just a little change of pace from our black lantern that we've had out here for quite a few years and they were really affordable I felt like the price was fair for the quality of product I was getting so I just love the way they look but anyway the next thing that I'm going to do is clean this space I know that I had power washed it earlier but it is pollen season and pollen was already collecting so I'm going to use my jaws hardwood cleaner and wipe down the door all of the wood trim and also the glass storm door I probably should have switched between the hardwood cleaner and the glass cleaner but I was feeling lazy and this worked just as well. It got all of the mess up and didn't leave any streaks and I guess that's all I can really ask for. I found this front door wreath at Target on clearance two or three years ago at the end of the summer season. It was only $6 and I love it. It has held its shape beautifully throughout the last couple of years. I use it at various times of the year and it's one of my favorite clearance finds. Okay, this is looking so good so far, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on these mulch nuggets in case anybody is planning on replicating this or using this and wants to know like about how much you would need because we did just run out so we got this entire front flower bed area done and we stopped it right here you can clearly see that and then of this flower bed which has like it's a lot bigger and has a more unique shape I guess we got all the way over to here and this was 30 bags of the nugget mulch and it is like it's nice in there I'm actually really happy with going this direction instead of the wood mulch so we got way more coverage area out of it than we thought that we were going to and this is just 30 bags I feel like 30 bags of the wood mulch didn't even last us this long so we still have the rest of this and I would say that that's a little less than this space like it's definitely not double what we've already done so I would say it would take 20 to 25 more bags to extend it this way which we are going to obviously so it all is cohesive but also we want to put our bird bath right there and we can't do that until we have all of this done so I'd say we need about 20 to 25 more bags for that direction and then over here on this side area I would say four to five bags would cover it so we probably need double the amount we got 
we knew we were going to need more, but 30 was all that would fit in our car. So Derek's gonna get that when he's at Lowe's too. But this is looking so good. I'm really happy with it. I can already tell we're gonna like it so much better than the wood mulch. It like repels bugs or like just doesn't invite bugs in and termites and things like that. It also keeps its color a lot better and it's a lot more comfortable to step on. It's just like, rubber tire material so or maybe it is that's exactly what it is is shredded up tires but it looks really pretty it it in my opinion looks better than the mulch it'll keep its color a lot longer you won't get splinters i would just highly recommend we really like it but just in case you're planning on doing this as well i wanted to let you know that 30 bags covers this amount of area so anyway we are almost done as soon as Derek comes back with the mulch we'll finish that and we'll I'll put the little plant in here but the last thing that I wanted to do was put together this deck box I just ordered it online I'll leave a link down in the description box in case you're interested but I had seen on Pinterest or TikTok maybe this idea to use a deck box next to your front step for deliveries like especially in the springtime when it spontaneously rains and things like that so if you have like an Amazon delivery or something they can just put it in the deck box protect it from the weather not have it on your front step so since we don't have a covered porch area I thought that was genius so I'm gonna go ahead and put this together get it set up nestled right in this little corner so it's out of the way but still obvious for our delivery drivers and hopefully this will work out exactly as I hope it will So I'm not going to lie, when this showed up at my doorstep, I was just like, there's no way that everything is in here. They must have forgotten part of it. It's going to be coming in multiple packages, something like that. So I waited a few days and nothing else showed up. And I don't know what I was expecting when I was unboxing it, but I was not expecting this to be so easy. I've never purchased a deck box before, so I really didn't know what I was getting into, but for some reason I had built it up in my head that it was gonna require a lot of tools, it was gonna be heavy, it was gonna be hard to put together, and that could not have been further from the truth. It was so easy to snap everything into place. There were no tools required at all for the assembly, and I got this entire thing put together in less than five minutes but it still looks like it has really good quality. None of the seams are open, like everything is weatherproof. I was highly impressed with this. All right, this is exactly what I wanted. That fits in that little corner perfectly without being too much of an eyesore. Like it doesn't necessarily look out of place. And maybe I saw this on the product listing and not on Pinterest or TikTok because look, please place packages in box and it has like Amazon, FedEx, UPS, the post office. It's a sticker. So I can just like put this right here or right here. I think I would probably probably put it here so it's really easy to no I'll probably put it there because even before you can read it you would see the logo so I think I'm going to put it on the front and that way it's just super easy I don't have to worry about like making a little sign or anything this is perfect I love that it came with this and then also if you are wanting to like store things like when it rains we'll probably put these lanterns even though they're outdoor lanterns we'll probably just quickly put them in here just to keep them lasting for as long as possible but there's this little combination lock that also came with it i didn't realize it would be coming with it and that just fits right in here to keep it secure and keep all of your belongings locked up so if you're using this on a patio or a deck or as any other kind of storage it's just really easy to secure your things so i really like that i got this one this is a 30 gallon and it is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Also ridiculously easy to assemble. No tools required. It just kind of like snapped into place. Let me show you guys. You see those little snaps down there? Um, I would hear them snap and then try and take it apart and it is secure in there. But this is the 30 gallon. I also got a 100 gallon to use on our actual patio for like our kids outdoor toys and things like that. We'll be setting that up this week, but I love it. I think it's great. This is the 
gray color in my opinion it looks a little more grayish it's definitely neutral and can fit in with a ton of different aesthetics but yeah i'm loving this so i'm gonna put this sticker on the front right here get this cleaned up and i can't wait to show derek when he gets back from the store i really really like it like i said i'll leave this linked in the description box in case you're looking for something like this that was the last part of this front porch makeover so before i share the final reveal i wanted to remind you of our starting point share these before shots one more time and where we are right now i am loving how everything turned out i had so much fun pulling this space together it's definitely the most simple setup i've ever had here the most simple and affordable decorating ideas i've shared but I love that. I love this space. I love how manageable it is. It's beautiful. It's functional. It's everything I wanted it to be. And I hope that you enjoyed coming along on the process with me. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks so much for choosing to spend your time here today. And I'll see you in the next one.